ways to make numbers to 20, lesson 5.8. We can add and subtract in different ways to make the same number. We can use different addition or subtraction sentences. To make 10, we could use the addition sentence 5 plus 5. We could use the subtraction sentence 11 minus 1. They both equal 10. We could use 10 plus 0 or 10 minus 0. That would still be 10. We could use 8 plus 2 or 12 minus 2. We could even add three numbers, 5 plus 3 plus 2, or we could write a subtraction sentence like 13 minus 3. There are many addition and subtraction sentences that will have 10 as the answer. We can add or subtract to show some of the ways to make a number. Here we have 16 at the top. We need to come up with different addition and subtraction sentences that will equal 16, the number at the top. We can add a double, 8 plus 8, that will give us 16. We could break the 8 into a 5 and a 3 and do 8 plus 5 plus 3. We could even add 9 plus 7. That would give us 16. We could break the 9 into a 3 and a 6. That way we can add the 7 and 3 and get a 10 and add 6 more. That would give us 16. We can add 16 plus 0 or subtract 16 minus 0. We could even do 15 plus 1, couldn't we? Or 17 minus 1. And we can do 10 plus 6 or 18 minus 2. And there are more, many more ways to make 16 that are not on this list. We can use counters to help us find different ways to make the same number. Here we need to find a way to make 15. We need to add two numbers together to make a 15. So I have 15 counters here. I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 counters. We need two numbers to add together to make 15. So if we put them in different groups, we can have a 10 and a 5. That would make the 15. For a subtraction sentence, we can say that we have 15 counters and we take away 0. Then it'll stay 15, won't it? So we could do 15 minus 0, then we'll have 15. How about three numbers added together that make a 15? Look at how I have my counters. We could do 5 plus 5 plus 5. That would be 15. We're not taking any counters away or adding any counters to our 15. So we can just move them around. We could say there are six counters here and nine counters here, six plus nine is equal to 15. And if we have to think of our own addition or subtraction sentence, we can put either one in here. We can come up with a way to make 15. We could say Eight counters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven counters makes 15. So those are just some of the ways to make a 15 with addition or subtraction. Can you think of some other ways to make a 15 with addition or subtraction? Can you get a paper and pencil? and try to find some of the ways? In this chart, in this table, we need to find ways to make 11. I have 11 counters. I have 10 and one more that makes 11. It wants us to think of a subtraction sentence to make 11. And the easiest one is 11 minus 0. We have 11 counters. If we don't take any away, we still have 11. How about a plus 
addition sentence. We could do 11 plus 0, couldn't we? For another subtraction sentence, we could add more counters and take some away so that we have 11. We have 11 counters here. If we had more counters, now we've got 10, 11, 12, 13. We could say 13 minus 2 makes 11. We can add three numbers together to make 11. We can move the counters around into three groups. So we could say an easy one would be 5 plus 5 more plus 1. 5 plus 5 plus 1. That would give us 11. Can we think of another one on our own? Addition or subtraction? We could do 6 counters plus 5 counters, couldn't we? 6 plus 5, that would still be 11. In this table, we need to find ways to make 12. Here I have 12 counters, 10, 11, 12. We need to think of an addition sentence. We can just group the counters and say 10 plus 2, couldn't we? Because that's what our counters are grouped. That's how our counters are grouped right now, in a 10 and a 2. We could also say 12 plus 0, couldn't we? If we add 0 to this, 0 counters, that means we're not adding any counters, so it's staying 12. Can we split the counters up so we have 3 add-ins? We could do 5 plus 5 plus 2. 5 plus 5 plus 2. Did you see for 11 we did 5 plus 5 plus 1? And because 12 is 1 more than 11, instead of 5 plus 5 plus 1, now we're going to have 5 plus 5 plus 2. Now we need to think of a subtraction sentence that would make 12. We could do 12 minus 0, couldn't we? Now we need to think of one of our own. Here we have 12 counters. If we put another counter here, that would be 13 counters, wouldn't it? We could say 13 minus 1 is 12. We can write a subtraction sentence. And those are some of the ways that we can make a 12. This is a little bit different. We can write numbers to make each line have the same sum. Here we have a puzzle. And we can see that there's numbers inside the circles, but some of them have numbers missing, don't they? We start with a line that has all the numbers. So here's a line, 7, 6, and a blank, an unknown number. Here's a line, 3, 6, and 5. And here's a line, 8, 6, and an unknown number. We find the line that has all the numbers. That would be the purple one. We find the sum of these numbers. Then we fill the circles so the other lines have the same sum. So we can start by adding 6 plus 5. We start with the larger add in 6 and count on 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we add the 3, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we know that each line is supposed to equal 14. 
So we need to add numbers to the other lines so that they equal 14. We have a 7, a 6, and an unknown number. We start with the larger add in 7 and count on 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 7 plus 6 is 13, but we need 14. So how many do we need? We're at 13, and the line is supposed to equal 14. What number would go here? If you said 1, you're right. 7 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 14. So now this line equals 14. So far, so good. The last one is the green line. We have an 8 and a 6 and an unknown number. Let's start with the 8 and count on the 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, 8 plus 6 does equal 14. And the whole line is supposed to equal 14. So what number can go here so that it stays 14? Do you know? Do you know what we can add to 14 to make it stay 14? If you said 0, you're right. We'll just add a 0, and it'll stay 14. So that's how you solve these puzzles. You add up all of the numbers, and whatever it equals is what the other lines have to equal when you add up all their numbers. Let's try another one. We've got a 1, a missing number, a 5, a missing number, a 6, a 3, and there's a 9 in the center. We start with the line that has all the numbers. That would be the orange one, wouldn't it? We find the sum, so we're going to start with the largest, add in 9, and then let's count on 5. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 9 plus 5 is 14. We need to add 3 more. 14. 15, 16, 17. So the lines are supposed to equal 17. That means the other lines need to equal 17. If we had 1 plus 9, that would be 9, 10. So what number could go here so that this line would equal 17? What could we add to 10 to make 17 for that line? We can count on from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That was seven fingers. One plus nine plus seven is equal to 17. Now let's do this one. We'll start with the nine and count on six. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 9 plus 6 is 15, but it's supposed to equal 17. So what do we need to add to 15 to make a 17? If you said 2, you're right. So that would be a 2 here. 2 plus 9 plus 6 is equal to 17. For this one, it says, choose which of these ways make 11. So we have to add to find out which ones equal 11. And there's more than one. So it, cho it says, choose which of these ways to make 11. It doesn't say choose which one. So we could choose as many as there are that equal 11. We can start with the 6 and add the 3 and the 2. 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're at 9, 10, 11. Yeah, this top one, it equals 11, so we can fill in that dot. How about 8 plus 4? Does that equal 11? Let's try it. We'll start with the 8 and count on 4. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, that doesn't equal 11. How about 7 plus 2 plus 2? Let's try it. We'll start with the 7, the larger add-in. We'll count on 2 and then 2 more. 7 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, that is equal to 11. So the top one and the bottom one 
were both equal to 11. So now you know how to do these circle puzzles. And you know that there's a lot of different ways to make a number. And you can make tables like this and come up with your own ways. Our next lesson is equal and not equal. That's lesson 5.9. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Keep trying hard. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.